What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing another classic Delta Airlines real-time model that is definitely one of the most well-known classic real-time models, and that is the Delta Airlines 767 in the Colors in Motion or Wavy Gray Livery 767 Airport Playset. So this video is pretty much adding on to the review video that I had posted last week where I reviewed the original Delta Airlines interim livery 767 airport playset. So this one was the first Delta Airlines model that was ever produced by Rotoy as well as one of the first 767 models that were ever produced. It was produced in from 1997 to 2000 and then this model is the second Delta Airlines model that Realtoy had ever produced. This one lasted from 2000 until uh, this exact model actually lasted only from 2000 until 2004 and there actually was two different versions of this model that was produced. So the other one is the pretty much the same exact livery and overall mold for the model for the 767 but the main difference is this is the the newer model that was produced with the filled in cabin windows and the updated 767 cockpit windows. This is definitely a model uh, that for this livery that is not very well known at all. I actually never really knew about it until um, I had seen a post about it a couple years ago and I first had found out about this particular model. So this is a model that just like the original Colors of Motion wavy gray livery, this one also comes in the same exact form. It comes in the uh, the normal airport playset, single plane, and I believe it also came in the large airport playset for a very short period of time. So both of these models are the only 767s that were produced in the Colors of Motion or wavy gray livery design. So there were a total of four different models that were produced by Realtoy in these, uh, in this specific livery. The other two are the, um, these models are actually definitely really more rare Realtoy models. These are the 757 and the 777 in the wavy gray or colors in motion livery design. So these models were produced only as a twin airport playset or in the large airport playset for a very short period of time. So I tried my best to do some research about this exact livery. So the Colors of Motion or Wavy Gray livery was first introduced in 2000 and was used on pretty much most of Delta's fleet when it was uh, introduced by Ron Allen. It was pretty much the exact the livery that was um, introduced as soon as the Delta interim livery was um, kind of done away with in 2000. Uh, the Delta interim livery lasted from 1997 to 2000. I wasn't really completely sure about that when I had reviewed that model in my last video. But now that I actually know that, and I pretty much have a good timeline, I believe, for when these models were produced. Because the livery design only lasted with Delta from 2000 until 2007, when they introduced their current livery, which is the onward and upward livery that they've had since 2007. And in three years, they would have had that livery for 20 years. So I honestly think it's time for Delta to change their onward and upward livery just to make it a little bit more, uh, just something else kind of different to look at, such as the Colors of Motion livery was definitely a nice new addition to the Delta fleet. So when it was introduced in 2000, Ron Allen had the, C the former CEO of Delta Airlines wanted something that added more color to the Delta Airlines fleet. And so when they introduced this livery in 2000, um, I'm not sure if they kind of designed it to last a lot longer than seven years, considering that their entire fleet was painted in this livery until 2007 when they were repainted in the onward and upward livery. But so I believe the first model that was produced, which is the one that I have in the playset form, this one is the original Colors of Motion 767 model, the first one that was produced. I believe this one was produced from 2000 until 2004. So the reason as to why exactly this model was updated from the original uh, 767 model. So when Delta Airlines had originally introduced the Colors of Motion livery, they had this exact logo design up here, which featured the semicircle right here on the Delta widget logo. So that logo was referred to as the soft widget that lasted only from 2000 until 2004 when Delta had reintroduced the Delta traditional widget logo design on their plane. So as you can see on the Delta logo that is on the box, you see the semicircle that is kind of in the um, the bottom portion where the red is and the Delta logo, the Delta widget logo design there. 
And then right here, displayed on the 767 model, you can see there is the other, the actual traditional widget. This is referred to as the traditional widget, which has the Delta logo as a triangle. So this model was first introduced in 2004, possibly 2005, because that is when they had reintroduced the widget logo on design on their on their aircraft. So um, that was when exactly the older version was produced, and then the newer model was most likely produced from 2004 until the livery was eventually replaced by the onward and upward livery in 2007. So this model was produced for uh, for four years, and then the newer design was um, I mean was produced for only three years, and then. My best guess as to when exactly the 757 and 777 models were produced, uh, I had made a video on these, um, I think it was almost two years ago, I had made a review video on these, and I never, I don't remember if I really explained uh, much of the information about these, because I honestly don't really know much about these models, because there really isn't any much information to find about these. But my best guess as to when these were produced was 2004, and possibly only 2004, because um, I never actually noticed this until I uh, started researching these models. But so the Delta 757, as you can see here, they are not the same livery design. So the 777 has the filled in windows cabin windows as the same it does have on the newer 767 because these are the same exact liver designs and the delta widget logos are also exactly the same but as i'll show later when i take out the plane the 757 has the same exact window pattern design and the with the white windows or the more outlined windows and the delta soft widget logo design uh in part of the delta logo so Possibly when Realtoy had introduced these models in the Twin Airport playset, uh, 2004 would be the best time to when these would have been produced because it kind of would represent both the 767 livery, the older livery design, and then the newer design and kind of incorporate it into one complete set of models. So these both were produced only as a Twin Airport playset and a large airport playset as well. So. It doesn't actually seem like these would be, but I would consider this to be almost one of the rarest Real Toy 757 models because throughout my the, the four years I've been um, kind of really searching for Real Toy models, I've only ever seen one eBay listing for these, and that was the one that I had gotten. I had gotten these in a bidding, I think, three years ago, 2021. I had gotten these just like in a way I won a lot of other biddings because nobody else had bidded for them. I got these used. I do not have the box, unfortunately, but... I believe most of these models are exactly the same. There's no difference between any other 757 and 777 models. I think they all uh, look exactly like this. But so I will get to these models more later in the review. But so moving back on to the 767 models. So just like the 757 and 777 models, I had both gotten these ones off of eBay as well. I had gotten the airport playset with the original 767 model off of eBay in 2020 when I had um, just first started officially collecting real toy models. I had gotten it right after I got in the interim livery and I think I, st I do still have the screenshot for that model as well. Like I said in my last, in my last video, um, even though over time it does become a lot of screenshots I have of listings, I just like to have screenshots of my original eBay listings just to kind of go back to it and see them, especially for these ones because it was the first time when I had officially started Real Toy Collecting. And getting this model in my collection was definitely a really big deal because this is such a well-known Delta model. And pretty much, I think this is honestly a model that most collectors either have or at least know about. Um, even, I would consider this model to be even more well-known than the newer 767 uh, liveried in the onward and upward livery of the 767 model. So the 767 in the Delta, the newer onward and upward livery is still being produced. I believe it is one of the last being, is one of the last produced 767 models. Uh, throughout the time, kind of like how it is in the actual aviation world with aircraft, the 767 has pretty much been retired by most airlines and kind of like with real toy models as well, there really was has been no reason for real toy to make any other ones unless they made introduce a FedEx model or a, a um, Amazon Prime Air model. But just like that, 
there's really no other real toy 767s that are, are being produced so the delta ones are pretty much the last ones that are being produced so the newer livery i had gotten off of ebay i believe this was around two years ago i had gotten it i got this used actually i do have the whole playset to it except the box I got it used off of eBay with all of the vehicles and signs included with it, except for the box and the plastic piece that it sits in. Um, the, the vehicles, are, as far as I remember, they are exactly the same that come in the original um, the original airport place it here. The only difference between these models is, of course, the aircraft and the Delta widget design, and I think uh, this one had the new, the new Darren logo displayed on the front of the box. As for buying this model, if you are a collector really trying to look, get all of the specific differences for real toy models, the best way that you can do for looking for this model, I would honestly suggest, I usually don't, but I would suggest looking for a used one, a, a good use, not a completely destroyed and damaged used one that you can still tell has a sticker on it, but um, one that is still in good condition, such as this one right here, um, because... If you buy one with the airport playset, unless you can see the windows on it, you won't officially know if it actually is that model. Because as far as I know of, there could be a Delta model with the newer traditional widget logo that is in the older livery design. Um, I'm not too, uh, I don't really know exactly if uh, there is one of those out there, but I'm sure there probably is. So the best case to buying one of these would be to get a used one. Um, just like how I did, because you can easily, as long as the pictures are good, and you can easily see the window pattern. As long as the window pattern looks like this, with the filled-in uh, cabin windows, then it is this model. So, that pretty much is all for the information uh, that I could cover about these models, and pretty much their history, the livery design history. So, kind of starting off here for the review of the, uh, the playset. So, the top of the box has the white has the white uh, design pattern there with the blue that kind of goes into the top kind of where the plastic, the clear plastic part is. Down along the bottom, there's a Delta logo with the soft widget logo design there and the airport playset displayed in the nice big lettering across the top. And then on the bottom, you have the item number there, diecast metal, new liver designs and plastic parts. You got the warning label. And then on each side of the box, there is the Delta logo design there with the soft widget logo again there. And then on the back has the Delta logo, same soft widget logo design, airport playset, diecast metal, new livery designs, and plastic parts. Just like the interim livery, I do like how they have the Delta logo outlined in white just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more. And then you have all of the vehicles displayed here. This is one of the, uh, this is one of the boxer images. That I just thought was kind of odd how the tires are brown instead of just being the usual black like they usually are on all of the other um, Boxstar images. Even you can tell on the engines, on the inside of the engines, and on like the fan blades and stuff, and on the window tint, even on the stair truck, it has like the brown coloring to it. I don't really know why, um, but that's definitely something that's really interesting, not really on most of these other uh, place of Boxstar images. Then the, the aircraft is displayed there. I'm not really sure why the Delta logo was kind of crooked, but I mean just kind of how it is um just like on the interim livery to me the aircraft looks more of like a 767 400 rather than a 300 which i believe the model is supposed to be on the bottom there is the older darren logo right there with all of the trademark stuff and all of the other information displayed there on the bottom so that is all for the box review of the model so like usual i'll pause the video and take out the playset so here is the Delta Wave Gray 767 Airport playset. So like usual, I didn't take out the signs because they are pretty much the same exact signs that come in most of the older playsets. So starting off here with the older version, the original 767 model. So just like the other livery, the newer livery design, the overall colors and motion livery, everything is in the exact same place with the colors being the same as well. Just the major, the main difference with this model is, I mean, as you can tell, definitely the nose cone on this model, and then the cabin windows are also the main difference for this model compared to the newer one. So this one has the original 767 uh, cockpit windows up there on the front of the plane with the very pointy nose cone displayed there. Also on most of the older models, another way you can tell if these are old, usually they have the um, unfinished paint that is... Um, 
you know, the unfinished paint that is on the bottom portion of the nose cone. It kind of looks like it was either painted over, it was supposed to um, kind of go along with the undercarriage paint, but then they kind of just painted over it with the white. But it has that unfinished paint look on it, and so you always can tell if the models are usually older, usually from the either early 2000s or definitely in the 90s. And then this one has the pointy nose cone displayed there. The Delta logo with the soft widget logo design and the nice bright blue. I would say this is a royal blue coloring there with the first cabin door, second cabin door, all of the cabin windows are in the white outline there. Are pretty much just white with the black, the, th the thin black outline there. The third cabin door and then the rear cabin door. And then the engines have the red stripe around the cowling and then the rest of the blue that kind of goes along the rest, most of the other part of the plane, on both sides. The undercarriage is in the silver coloring there with, I, can, I would kind of say this is more of like a, a matte finish. Uh, another difference how you can tell on some of the older models, um, and I'm not sure if you can really see, physically see the difference here between the older model and the newer one. The older one, um, but you can definitely tell between the texture of them whenever, if you do have them. Um, the older one has the more of a, more of a slightly rougher texture to it, more of like a matte finish. And then the newer models, just like the ones that are still being produced now, have more of a smooth texture and kind of resemble more of a slightly more gloss finish to it. You kind of see there's slight like reflection in it, while the other one does not have any form of reflection to it other than uh, the light. So, but that is another main difference here between uh, not just this model, but any other older models as well. And then um, the wings and the undercarriage are the exact same color for the silver coloring of the paint. And then there is the really nice wavy gray, the colors of motion at tail are designed there. So another thing about this livery is that I think this livery is definitely a very controversial uh, livery design for Delta because it is unlike any other livery design that Delta has had ever um, introduced on any of their aircraft when it was introduced in 2000. I personally really like this livery design. I think it was really cool and even out of all of their Delta liveries, this is definitely one of the, mo one of the most colorful ones. Even though the rest of the fuselage um, kind of can look almost unfinished with just the basic white and then just the random tail art design, but I really like this livery. Some people, I guess, don't or just think it's a very, very average uh, livery design for an aircraft, but I honestly really like this livery design, and I really wish the Delta had kept it for a longer period of time, and I honestly think it's time for them to change their onward and upward livery to something a little bit more uh, enthusiastic, as I could say, which is another reason why I guess this livery was introduced, because it's, I mean, it's very colorful with the tail art design. I just think they, de they definitely could do something else with the rest of the white fuselage, maybe something with the Delta logo, just to make it a little, look a little bit more finished and resemblance there. So moving on to the, the newer livery of the 767 model. So, like I said before, the main difference between uh, that you can tell between these models is definitely the cabin windows. So, not just the window pattern design or like the with the newer one having the filled in gray windows, but I mean even the pattern is entirely different. As you can see, the has the um, the newer livery has or the newer version of the model has the emergency exit doors in the um, center of the plane, as the newer one does not have it. And then, I mean, just the rest of the overall pattern design for the aircraft, and then with the Delta widget logo, and then even the coloring on the wavy gray portion of the tail is different in coloring. The older one is a little bit more vibrant, and then the newer one is slightly more, um, I don't want to say like neutral coloring or just like more, I don't want to say dull either because it's not really dull. But, I mean, you can definitely tell the difference between them, and the newer one has a much more vibrant coloring to it than the newer one. So, this one, you can see, this one has a more or less pointy nose cone with the newer 767 cockpit window design displayed there. Uh, with the Sky Team logo on this one, that's another thing that the other original one does not have. This one has the Sky Team logo on it, if I can get my camera to focus. Uh, and then this one also with the traditional widget logo on the Delta design, and then with the cabin windows that go first main cabin door, and then all the way to the back of the plane with the American flag, and then the rear cabin door, got the emergency exits on the inside. 
the engines are pretty much exactly the same for the coloring and design wise with the red on the engine cowlings and then the blue on the rest uh, half portion of the engine and then the the wings are the same coloring as the undercarriage uh, this model has the nose cone in the uh, painted fully rather than the unfinished painted look to it and then uh, the realtor logo on the bottom main uh, the bottom main landing gear and then on the tail there is the weaver gray portion of this model with the like a light blue to the dark navy blue and then the red on the top same thing as well for the newer the older original version as well and yeah, no manufacturing date on these because um it was produced pre pre 2010 uh 2010 when they had started adding the manufacturing dates so there is no manufacturing date on this model i would like to know when it was produced but should be produced sometime between 2004 and 2007. so before i move on to the 757 and 777 i'll just do the review for the vehicles so i'll start off here with the stair truck because it was the first one i mentioned when i went through the box uh, for some reason, I don't know why this looks like it is um, kind of sunbaked is what it is. Whenever it has the yellow tint to it, I would just, we always refer to that as being sunbaked. Even here on the stairs portion, it still kind of has like a yellow tint to it. And I don't know why, because this model has not seen this, this place that has not seen the sun since before I got it. So I don't know if it looked like that before I got it. So, but sometimes the stickers can just fade because they're old. Uh, it's kind of sometimes how it is. Uh, this one has the whole vehicle is pretty much all white. There is no Delta logos on the doors or on the front of the, uh, the vehicle. Delta and the soft widget logo design on displayed on the top and the side and then on the bottom. Uh, same thing on the other side as well. And then for the taxi, has the same logo design with the soft Delta widget on the both sides of the doors and then on the roof there with the number for this one is 17. The rest of the car is pretty much just all white. And then the bus has the same item number there, 17, with the Delta soft widget logo design on the sides and then on the top. This one has the design on the bottom as well, the 24 hours service uh, with the number below there on the front of the bus as well. And the catering truck, this one kind of has the, with the plastic kind of similar to the uh, ladder truck, I'm not sure if you can tell, but this this one definitely also has that yellow tint to it. And I really don't know why. But uh, this one has the background is all in the fully nice silver coloring there, like the undercarriage on the, on the plane. And then the Delta soft widget logo design on the inside of that as well. So overall, these vehicles are, they should be the exact same ones that come in the newer logo design as well. And then, as well, they are very similar to the ones that come in the interim logo uh, design as well. So now moving on to the 757 and the 777 models. So just like I mentioned uh, previously with the original 767 model, the 757 has the exact same livery design uh, window pattern just like the 767 has. I mean, even the window pattern is exactly the same between the coloring, the design, and the overall pattern of the um, two models are exactly the same, and the Delta logo design there. Um, I'm not sure if the... Um, there is a difference, though. There still is the difference in the tail design with the older one, the 767 having the more vibrant coloring, and then the 757 having the same kind of coloring as the newer 767 has. But other than that, the livery designs are exactly the same. And then as for the 777, the 777 is the only one that is pretty much completely different. Uh, the only similarities it has is um, having the same uh, window uh, cabin window coloring as the newer 767. But other than that, the 777 is pretty much just like every other average 777 model with the window pattern being the usual window pattern for the 777-300 models and then this one also has this this is the only model of the delta wavy gray models that have the white engines I and mean, as you can see in the 767 they are um they are white compared to the 767 and the, the older model the older version and the 57 with having um the silver the silver engines and then the 777 having the white engines so so starting off for the just the quick review of this model with the 757 the 757 has the original 757 cockpit windows there on the front with this one has the fully painted nose there not the unfinished paint 
Uh, this one has kind of a run, um, it isn't exactly like the texture on the original 767 model, but it kind of isn't as much of a gloss finish as it is on the 777 and newer 767 model, but it doesn't have that more rough texture to it like the original 767 model does have. This one with these, um, the soft Delta widget logo, just like it is on the original 767 model right there with the semicircle instead of the triangle. Delta logo, and then all of the same exact cabin windows that are displayed throughout the 767 and the white outlined design there with the red uh, cowlings and then the blue part on the engines, red toy logo on the bottom, gray, silver, uh, undercarriage there, no registration number, and no American flag on there either. And then with the Delta, the colors of motion, maybe gray, whichever livery you prefer to call it, on the tail. Um, this one has some damage to it because I did get it used. But uh, other than these little things, when I, rem I remember when I got these models, these things were very dirty. So I almost completely forgot about that. But when I did get these, these models were very dirty. And I had done a lot of work to fix them up entirely and had to glue some of the sticker back on as well. As you can see, uh, see part of it there. Um, but yeah, so um, like I kind of said in some, I, some of my other videos, there's some of these models that I really don't know what to say if you are looking at these in your collection because I've only seen these listed on eBay once, which was when I had gotten them. So these models are very rare. So if you are, if you do happen to find them, I would definitely suggest getting these because these are very rare Delta Airlines models and probably the, definitely the rarest Delta Airlines models that Ritoy has ever made. And some uh, other models that are kind of pretty much uh, unknown to a lot of collectors as well. Um, unless you have been collecting for a very long time and pretty much know about these models. Um, but for the 777, has the 777 cockpit windows on the front with the Delta, the, the Sky Team logo displayed there. The Delta logo with the traditional uh, Delta widget logo design with the, the orange triangle. 777 cabinet windows that go throughout the entire uh, the, t the entire plane with the American flag on the back rear cabin door as well. Uh, the engines on this one are, like I said before, the engines on this one are white. They are the only wavy gray uh, livery uh, designed model that has the white engines. Still has the sticker, um, but I mean, another difference is that the rest of these models have a, are painted. This one has a sticker on it on for, I believe it's just for the red stripe. The, the blue is painted on, but the red is a stripe on there and then on both sides of the plane uh, are exactly the same another good another unique thing about this model is that uh, you can see where they had actually painted the silver over the white portion on the fuselage you kind of see there where the silver connects to the white on the fuselage just like how it is on the newer livery i think that was another great addition to this model to kind of introduce the new uh, more modern triple seven models this one might have actually been one of the first triple sevens that were ever produced as well um, cause if it was made in 2004, the 777-200 um, came out, uh, the, that one came out in the 90s, I believe, and then the 300 came out sometime around, uh, this time as well, so this might have actually been one of the first 777s ever produced by Real Toy. I never actually thought about that before. Um, but anyway, so, back to the model, and then this one has the, um, I think, I think the color is pretty much the same, it looks, kind of looks slightly different. Um, this one has more of a gray rather than a light blue. Yeah, you can definitely see that difference on the bottom. This one has more of a gray on the bottom than a light blue and a more, um, and a less vibrant uh, coloring there with the, the dark blue and then the red. You can kind of see the designs a little bit better on the kind of the black outlines on the 757 rather than the 777. But overall, I think, I think the overall printing of that sticker can vary on every other model because every other model can pretty much be different. But, so that pretty much is all for the review of all four of these models, really. Um, this 777 and the 757, and then both of the 767 models. So, um, overall, the 757 and the 777 are, they're some of my favorite models in my collection, because um, it took me a while to find them as well, and um, definitely contributes to the entire Delta fleet I have. I believe I only need um, one to two more Delta models to have the entire Delta Airlines fleet. 
and which is what I will be including these models in um, the next my next future Delta Airlines video. So my hope is my hopes is to finish getting the entire fleet of the real toy Delta Airlines models, and then I can finally have the entire fleet, and then I'll be able to make a video on all of those. So there, are, these are four of I believe up to. Um, possibly 12, around 10, 12 Delta Airlines models that were ever produced by Real Toy. The Delta models are some of the most mass-produced models that Real Toy has ever made. They have been some of the most longest-lasting models that have been ever produced, kind of like the American Airlines models as well, um, United as well, too. So, um, with some of the most produced models, with having 12 in their entire fleet, which is more than most other, um, models and fleets as well so that pretty much is all for today's video so thank you all so much for watching and let me know what you guys's opinions are on these models or if you have them or just any other thoughts you have and thank you all once again thank you all so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video